Ooh. Hey there, I'm Doug from twokilosofbread.com and today uh, we're in Bosong in southern South Korea if that makes any sense. Now if you ask any Korean person what does Bosong mean to them, they'll tell you one thing. Can you guess what it is? I really hope you said tea because if you didn't then it just makes a fool out of the both of us. Bosong green tea was made famous by the tea fields that you see behind me. This here is the Dawan tea plantation, one of the biggest in the area. Tea from here is sold all over the country and it's added to a lot of the local foods that you'll see. You can't miss it, they put it in just about everything. Oh, I'm hungry again now. Whew. So here we are at the restaurant uh, and I ordered naengmyeon, which is a standard dish you can get anywhere in Korea except for this version has green tea in it. So even the noodles are fairly green. So nengmya is just cold noodles. It's a little bit vinegary, there's some vegetables in it. Let's try it out. Scissors for food. Why don't we have this? So everything looks green. Let's see if it actually tastes like tea. Mm. That's pretty good. Um, it actually tastes like green tea. I'm very surprised. Anyways, I'm going to continue eating this. I'll see you at the next place. Oh, hey there. My, aren't you conveniently placed. I would have never known you were there. So it turns out that the tea fields are actually right next to the south coast. Huh? Beautiful south coast. And of course, being on the coast, there's only one type of food that comes to mind. That's right, pork. Did you say pork? See, you're making us look like an idiot again. So it didn't take me that long to find some proper green tea pork. Uh, you can see it here cooking up quite nicely. Unfortunately, I was an idiot and forgot to turn on the mic for the first half of this, but eh, you get the idea. It's meat, it's delicious. All right, so let's dig in. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take this meat that you grow, dip it here in the salt and oil, wrap it in a selection of leaves, which are in this basket right here, off camera. There's also some peppers, which I never eat. And then just oh, pop it in. If you want, you can also dip it in this sauce, which is a personal favorite of mine. Strongly recommend it. And then do the same thing. It does have an extra flavor to it. I'm not quite sure if it's the green tea or if it's one of the other seasonings, but it definitely tastes different from what you would get in Seoul. Mm. In the southeast of Korea, food tends to be less salty, a little bit more... Mm, well, gentle, if you will. Mm. And the sauce and the meat definitely reflect that. Mm -hmm. Onions. Mm. Mm. That's good kimchi too. Right now, just uh, walking back towards the ocean, towards the bus, home to Seoul to edit this video. Good times, good times. <sighs> so, I am completely full. I am also Douglas from twokilosofbread.com. If uh, you like this video and you'd like to see more, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, constructive criticism. I mean, I know I'm fat, I know I'm ugly, and I know I have an annoying voice, but constructive criticism welcomed. Have a good one.